Okay, so what I want to talk about in this video is just that white box down over there. This is the Sam Knowles white box. It actually just adds on to your network, so it's connected to my router up here. And essentially every hour or so it runs a speed test. Then you can go onto the website and you can actually view this data in a chart, see what your internet speed is like, your ping, etc. But the reason this box exists and why it's actually free to get is because ISPs, I think the EU actually sponsor these and sending these out to whoever actually signs up on their website. It allows you to obviously look at how your network is performing, but it also acts as a free gigabit switch. So on the back there is one port that is used with an uplink to this router, and the other four ports are free for everyone to use it on. So I've currently got one connected to my NAC, my Raspberry Pi Pi hole, and then one to the TV and one's currently free. So even if you don't ever use the analytical sort of tools, you're getting a free gigabit four port switch, which is on its own is called gross like £10 or like $15 at the cheapest. So now I'm going to head over to the computer and show you what kind of information you can actually see. Okay, so if you want to get one of these white boxes yourself, all you have to do is go to samnodes.com slash sign up and you'll be able to read this page, blah, 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 fill it in. I'm guessing the way they actually choose who to send it out to is probably due to what kind of internet connection you have. So I've signed up because I have the highest tier from Virgin, which might be a uh, sort of tier they were looking to get more data on, which they probably don't already have. Because I've actually signed up for a few other people using just a standard sort of BT 38 meg fiber and none of them had a reply back. In terms of their analytical sort of tools, this is their website here. So as I said, this box every hour periodically runs a speed test and you can actually see up here. So we can look at quite a lot of different metrics. So let's first look at download speed. Now, one thing about the download speed is I don't think it's completely right, but I know that a lot of these times where it's reading I have 183 megs at that, a few minutes later, if I run a speed test, the speedtest.net, I can get quite a lot higher than this. So I take it with a grain of salt, these download speeds. So here you see we're about all over the place, but it never seems to drop extremely low. The times when it does drop low, it does seem to be, let's say nine o'clock when people are on the internet and stuff like that. So we head over to upload speed. Okay, so what we can see here is my upload speed. So it's pretty consistent, but you can see these large drops. So these are when that my nightly backups run. So that's kind of obvious. Now there are some other useful things such as latency. So you can see how well your ping is like. Okay, so let's have a look at Netflix download speed. So I'm guessing this actually might be testing through Netflix servers. Now according to their website, apparently these speed tests are done within seconds. Okay, so it actually is testing to Netflix, to Amazon to make sure all this is right. Let's have a look at what our Netflix download speed is like. Now it seems to be quite reasonable. So I'm on a 350 megabits tier, so it means that I'm getting 258. And I did say that this speed test doesn't, it doesn't seem to be the most highest performing, but it does seem to be pretty good. Okay, so let's have a final look at DNS. So DNS is actually quite important to your browsing experience. If your DNS is slow, it's going to feel like your actual internet connection is much slower than it is. What we're seeing is a massive jump here. Most of the time, it seems to remain pretty low, but there are some spikes. Okay, and I think that's just about it. So there's not that much data here. Obviously, so here's a dashboard, so you can actually see your performance over time. So 250 megabits roughly today. And obviously, there's I've been using my internet kind of heavily over today. I can obviously see it once it loads for the media into the megabits per second. So obviously, it's for a free device, it's actually quite useful just to see how your internet is performing. You do, like I say, get a free gigabit switch, but some people might be a bit weary that it's logging this data and obviously it's sending it back. But I mean, there's nothing you really could hide from here, I guess. But that's it. Thanks for watching.